Hi, my name is Tovio, and I'm going to talk a little bit about simple operators in Python. Now, what do I mean by a simple operator? I'm talking about the characters that represent uh, basic mathematical operations, and then I'm going to talk a little bit about some uh, less common basic mathematical operations. So plus, minus, multiply, and divide. We'll just go through these really quick. So if I want to print 7 plus 3, our operator here, simple, plus sign, and 10, not a big surprise. Uh, those are integers, right? If I change one of these to a float, notice that the result we get is a float. And that's generally going to be true if you uh, have a, a float, which is a more complex data type, and an integer, which is a, under the hood at least, is a simpler data type, we are going to default to the more complex data type. So that's multiplication. Sorry, that was addition. And here we have subtraction. These are all going to do what we expect. 7 times 3, we're going to get 21. And 7 divided by 3, we're going to get 2.3 repeating. And notice here on the end, this is a 5. This is what we can consider to be precision error. Uh, because data is stored as 1s and zeros, and the float type has, um, let's say, to the right of the decimal point, a finite number of bits that it can allocate to that decimal, we're going to end up with some kind of round-off error in some way, in a lot of cases. Not in every case, but in a lot of cases. Another thing to notice here with division, we're going to end up with a float. Now, let's see what happens if we evenly divide. Again, we end up with a float. So keep that in mind. If you're dividing, even if you're dividing an integer by an integer, you're going to end up with a float. So let's consider some other operations. And since we just talked about division, let's actually start off with this floor division operator. So in this case, uh, let's do this 7 divided by 3, floor divided by 3 again. And notice our result is 2. Basically what's happening here, 3 goes into 7 two times, and it's 2.333 repeating. But we throw away the decimal, okay? So we are essentially going to round down in every instance when we use this double slash, which is the floor division operator. So let's consider exponentiation. So let's do 2 to the third power. And something to keep in mind, in a lot of other languages, exponentiation is shown with this caret operator. This means something else in Python. So 2 to the third, 2 times 2 times 2. It's going to give us 8. Pretty straightforward. So. Here's something that you may not have seen before as an operator. Let's consider 9 modulo 2. So what we're going to see here is 2 is going to go into 9 a certain number of times, right? 4 times. And 2 times 4 is 8. 9 minus 8 is 1. This is going to give us the remainder of division. So if I run this, we're going to see 1. And this can be really helpful, right? So if it's 8 modulo 2, 2 goes into 8 evenly, which gives us 0. So your intuition might already be telling you that we can check evenness and oddness of a number by performing a modulo operation. So 11 modulo 2 is going to be 1. And 12 modulo 2 
is going to be 0. So if you want to check if a number is even or odd, you can do this. We can do this double equals operator, which checks for value equality. And if I'm asking, is this odd, that's going to be 11 modulo 2, does that equal 1? And it does. So what we're going to get out of that is true.